Okay, hi everybody. Here's your language arts lesson today. We're gonna be back in your Eric Carl packet. And these pages I don't actually have in the packet, so I'm not sure what number they are. But we're gonna be working with um, the Grouchy Ladybug today and um, the page after it, which is just like a vocabulary word. So um, I wanna read the book first and then we can worry about finding these pages. But have your packet near you because these are in your Eric Carl packet. All right, so we're gonna read The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. So I want you to notice his pictures. As you know, as we talked about the other day, Eric Carl not only writes his stories, he's the author, he also does the pictures. Um, and so the way he does his pictures is watercolor. You use watercolors all the time. Um, you use them in art class. You've probably made things just at home with watercolors. If you like to paint or you're crafty at home, I know some of you love to craft. Um, so watercolors is something you should be pretty familiar with. Uh, he uses lots of bright colors. Um, you can tell that like nothing is super, super smooth, right? You can see like the brush strokes right in his, um, right in his paintings. So that's just kind of his style and it's what he's known for. And you'll see the same type of illustrations or drawings in all of his pictures. They all look like similar with these bright colors and the watercolor. So let's go ahead and give this book a read. You've probably heard this story before. If you haven't, you're just gonna sit back and enjoy. It's a wonderful story. Here we go. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, Ooh, I was gonna show you the time. All right, all these pages have a different time on them, so I'm gonna try my best to remember to show you that little teeny clock in the corner. Maybe I'll pull a stick each time. I already told you what time this is. This is five o'clock, right? I'll start pulling sticks to see if people can read me the time. Here we go. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with, with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, said the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. All right, here he goes. He says he's going to go find someone bigger. And he did. Look, he finds this little, or this bee, this bumblebee. Now this bee looks pretty big, right? Because the ladybug is so small. But we know that bees aren't really that big. Look at the time, just this first clock here. Hold on, it's a little blurry. There we go, let's see, I'm pulling a stick. What time is it, Emily? Just the first one. Six o'clock, good job. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, you wanna fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. All right, here's the next time. Gotta pull a stick, here we go. Just looking at that first clock. Sorry, it's hard to hold open. Lucas, what time is it? Seven o'clock. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Got a new time. 
Read that first clock. What time is it? What's it say, Daisy? What's the time? Eight o'clock. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. What time is it now? Let's see. Garrett. Nine o'clock. Sorry, it's a little blurry. Hopefully you could see that. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. Flew off. At what time? Alexis, what time does this clock say? 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching out its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And flew off. Take a look at all the, all the animals that he's meeting, right? First, he meets the little yellow jacket, then the stag beetle, then the praying mantis. Then the sparrow, now the lobster. What's happening to the size of the animals that he's coming across? They're getting bigger, right? Every page he has meets a bigger animal. He says, you're not big enough. Now he's going to go find an even bigger animal. <gasps> Skunk. Yuck. What time is it? Preston, what time does this clock say? 11 o'clock. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Do you think that the grouchy ladybug really thinks that these animals aren't big enough? I don't know if that's the problem. Pause me while you think about what do you think that the actual, why is the ladybug not actually fighting any of these animals? Why does he keep saying you're not big enough and flying away? Good. Actually, this grouchy ladybug probably doesn't think he can beat any of these animals, right? He gets scared. He's like, I don't think I can fight you. I'm going to go find someone else. But all of these bigger animals, do you think he's going to be able to fight any of them? I don't know. Let's see. What time is it now? He's about to meet a boa constrictor. It's a little blurry. Sorry, it's hard to focus when it gets so close. Yes, dear, what time does that say? 12 o'clock. Nice job. Do you think it's 12 o'clock midnight, yes, dear, or do you think it's noon? Probably noon, right? The sun is out. It's daytime. Midnight would be in the middle of the night. Good job. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake. Right after lunch. Uh-oh, what's lunch? <gasps> run, squirrel, run! Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. Flew off. All right, it's afternoon. What time is it now? Alex, say, what time does this clock say? One o'clock. At one o'clock, it happened across a hyena, uh, upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? 
If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. What do you think? You think this little ladybug is going to want to fight against a hyena? No way, Jose. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough. And flew off. Oh, I just realized I forgot to say what time it was. Sorry. It's two o'clock here. We've got enough. I'll get, I'll, everyone will get a chance to share the time, though. We'll do this page. We've still got enough left. What time is it here? Taylor, can you tell me what time? Three o'clock, very good. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the rhinoceros, and flew off. Oh, said the, I'm sorry, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. There we go. <gasps> I love elephants. All right, what time is it now? Kai. Very good, four o'clock. At four o'clock, he encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Last one, Aiden, my friend. What time is this clock showing? Five o'clock, nice work. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug. And he flew off. All right, now it's 5.15. It says, at 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, <laughs> the grouchy ladybug is still like in the middle of the whale. He hasn't even passed the whale yet. So he's talking to his flipper. He says, hey, you, you want to fight? You think that flipper's going to answer? It got no answer. So the ladybug flew on. All right, bonus points. If you know this time, you can say it. What time is this clock showing? This clock says 5.30. It says at 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, hey, you, want to fight? You think the fin's going to answer? Nope, they got no answer. So, it flew on. This is one big whale. At quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, hey, you, want to fight? Watch this so you can see the ladybug here. It says, and the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug a, or such a slap. Watch what happens. <laughs> you see what it does? Look, it looks like it's slapping the, grouchy, or the ladybug across the page. It says it gave him such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. And the sun is setting now. It's becoming nighttime. All right, everybody, last time. What time is it? Say it if you know it. Six o'clock. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah. Here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. He says, thank you. And the friendly ladybug says, you're welcome. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs 
and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. The fireflies slept during the day and they're awake at night. What do we call that kind of animal? They are nocturnal. So look at this ladybug here, this grouchy ladybug. He spent all day, well, first he came to this leaf, right, and could have just shared the aphids, but in, or the aphids, but instead he was so grouchy that he decided to fly all around trying to fight these people and ended up right back where he started from. And at the end, what did he do? He ended up sharing the, the aphids with the friendly ladybug, right? What do you think the lesson is that this ladybug, the grouchy ladybug, learned from all of that? Is fighting going to solve your problems? No. What should you do instead? Be kind, right? <laughs> Kindness always wins. I think this friendly, or this grouchy ladybug learned that he should have just been kind and shared from the beginning. Also, I wanted to talk about this last page where, um, you know, the leaf says thank you when the aphids were gone, or I'm sorry, the aphids were gone. It's because um, aphids are bad for plants and they, they kind of destroy them and make them, they like kill them. So um, the aphids, sorry about that, the, um, when the aphids were gone, the leaf said, no, thank you for eating them off of me so that the leaf could be healthy. And the ladybug said, you're welcome. All righty, let's go to your workbook pages or your packet pages. This is the grouchy ladybug page. Go ahead and pause me if you do not know where this page is yet. I want you to find it. Okay. We're going to go through, it lists a bunch of animals up here in these first couple of rows. I'll read the animal. You're going to circle only the animals that the grouchy ladybug did not meet, okay? Circle the animals that were not in the story. All right, here we go. I'm going to read them all. You're going to go through and you're going to do your best. And then I'll go back over it to see how you did, okay? You can change your answers if you end up getting them wrong. All right, so you're circling the ones that the ladybug did not meet. If the ladybug did not meet an elephant, circle it. Circle this one if he did not meet a zebra. Circle this one if he did not meet a whale. Circle this one if he did not eat a skunk. Or I'm saying I'm saying eat. I meant meat. <laughs> he does not eat anybody except for the aphids. If he did not meet a turkey. Did not meet a lobster. Did not meet a wasp. Did not meet a sparrow. Okay. Let's go back and see. All right. So we're only circling the ones that, the, that he did not meet. Let's see. Did he meet an elephant? He sure did. You should not have circled the elephant. Did he meet a zebra? Nope. That should be circled. Did he meet a whale? Yes, he did. That one should not be circled. How about a skunk? He did meet, I just gotta find it. There we go. He did meet a skunk. Skunk should be left alone. He did not meet a turkey. He did meet a lobster. He did not meet a wasp. He did meet a yellow jacket, but not, oh, sorry, you can't see it. A yellow jacket, but not a wasp. And he did meet, uh-oh, can't find it, a sparrow. All right, 
list three other animals the ladybug met. So ones besides an elephant, lobster, whale, skunk, and sparrow. List three more animals that the ladybug met. Pause me while you write those. Okay, there were a lot of options you could say. I'm just gonna write a few of them. Your answers might not match mine though. That's okay, there's more answers than the ones that I'm gonna write down. So let's see, he also met, this very first page is a yellow jacket. You could have wrote yellow jacket. Ah, sorry, I bumped the iPad. So number one, I'll write yellow jacket. If you didn't come up with three, you could copy one of mine if you need to, but if you already came up with three different ones, you don't need to change them. Just make sure that you have three animals here that he met. You could have wrote stag beetle. I'll write that on number two. All right, let's see what's the next one. Ooh, a praying mantis. I'm gonna write that one down. That's a praying. Mantis. Let's see what else you could have said. I'll go through the rest of the animals. Let's see. Sparrow was in the top part. You could not have wrote that. So was lobster. So was skunk. You could have wrote boa constrictor or snake. That was not up there. You could have said a hyena. You could have said a gorilla. You could have said a rhino or rhinoceros. Elephant was up there, and the whale was the last animal that he met. Um, he also met another ladybug, so you could have wrote ladybug as well. All right, it says highlight. Let's just circle. Circle which one that the grouchy ladybugs keep saying as he meets the other, um, the other animals. Does he say, do you wanna fight? Or does he say, do you want to share with me? Which one do you think the grouchy ladybug says? I want you to circle the correct answer. And the last thing for this page is down at the bottom. It says, what lesson do you think the grouchy ladybug learned? We already talked about that a little bit, so I want you to pause me, and I want you to write what lesson you think the grouchy ladybug learned through this whole story. Okay. All right, so you should be ready for this next page now. So go ahead and flip to um, the, the, this is the word grouchy. We're gonna do a little vocabulary work with the word grouchy. So in this first line, it wants us to write the word. It says word here. So here's the word grouchy. We're just gonna copy it onto the line. Each little dash here does not need to be a letter. You can just write it. I'm not sure why they have separate little dashes. It should all just be like one straight line. Where does grouchy? What do you think the word grouchy means? It says use the text to help write a definition. So let me go to one of the pages where I see the word grouchy in the beginning. Um, I'll go to this page. It says, good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. And then she says, we could share them. And the grouchy ladybug says, no, they're mine, all mine. Or do you want to fight me for them? This is acting grouchy. Could you think of another word besides the word grouchy? How is he acting? He's acting mean, right? What's his mood like? Is he in a good mood or a bad mood? Grouchy is a bad mood. Good. So when we write the definition or what the word grouchy means, let's write it is a bad mood. Grouchy is a bad mood. That's what it means. Lastly, it says sentence. Write a sentence using your word. I'm gonna write one sentence for me, but I do not want you to copy my sentence. You need to write your own sentence. If I were to use grouchy in a sentence, I would say, I am grouchy without 
my morning coffee. A little smiley face. <laughs> Need my coffee. All right, you write your own sentence here and then you are done and I will see you back for math, okay? All right, sorry about that. Off you go, bye.